Hey, I'd like to uh, do a quick review of a new flashlight I got. This is the Creed T6 LED flashlight. It's uh, 800 lumens and it's three positioned as well as being water resistant. So it's got, you know, bright, it's got dim, and then it's got the strobe. And I like the strobe, you know, if I've got to go through the house at night because um, I hear a bump, it's really hard to... Uh, to think straight when you've got that shining up in your face. Uh, got it next to my Surefire light that I carry at work, which is really good, but it goes through the um, CR123 batteries at $5 a pop very quick. The light bulbs are, you know, $25 a piece, and, you know, it gets really, really hot. I think I'm going to replace this on my duty gear with this light because being uh, LED it'll last a whole lot longer and on the inside instead of having the expensive batteries it just has three um, AAA batteries. Some things I like about this flashlight is the three position and I like that it's got this rubber grommet so that I can hold it in my hand. You know, if I've got my gun, I can go around with the light. That rubber stop really makes it easy. It's got a uh, clip, but you could take that off and just unscrews. It's got the crenellated strike bezel if you've got a whack on them, buddy. Uh, however, I'd probably rather not get in that situation to begin with and it is zoomable. It's got the zoomable ring which I like. Now what I don't like about it is while this feels pretty sturdy the zoom ring really doesn't. It feels kind of uh, kind of loose. Not like it's gonna fall apart but it just doesn't have the same um, feeling of strength that the rest of this flashlight does. It also, the one that I got, had a little bit of manufacturer's defect, a little rub in the finish here but it did not affect its use and we'll show you that hey William we'll show you that in a, in a second when we put this on at night I went outside with the flashlight and unfortunately didn't pick up with my camera but I was able to see off in the woods behind my house um, but uh, it just didn't pick up on the camera and there we had a little bit of ice storm so there was some sleet and hail um, out there too so most of what I'll show you is, is indoors. This flashlight was $11. It did not come with batteries, but I think that's a pretty good price for what you get. And all in all, I'm really pleased with it. I think I'm going to get a couple more to throw in the, uh, the car glove boxes because I have been using the little cheap Harbor Freight flashlights and sticking them around the house. But William here likes his flashlights and he keeps messing with them. Don't you, boy? <laughs> you want to hold the flashlight? You can screw this. You can Talk about it. What can you do? You can screw it with a screwdriver and it, it can pop out. And it pops out. Do you like flashlights? Yeah. Is that a good flashlight? Yeah, it can go in the mud and you can, <coughs> and you can put mud on it. That is a good point. It is, it is water resistant, right? And how do you turn it on? You press the button in the back. That's another good question, William. You yeah. press the button in the back, like that, with your thumb. I'm going to try. I can, I can see my ball. You can see your, you can see your rubber ball? Yeah, and, and I can see the camera. Okay. Well, let's turn the lights off and uh, show the camera, okay?